Rated T for Teen. I'm producer here at Mad Dog, and basically what I do is I coordinate with the team to make sure that they've got everything they need uh, to get their jobs done, and uh, and then consequently I I frequently hound them afterwards to. I'm the guy who says, "Is it done yet? Is it done yet?" and uh, so that's primarily my role is to facilitate and communicate and make sure that the entire team, you know, the left hand know, knows what the right hand is doing and that everybody's on the same page and that uh, everybody's communicating clearly and effectively. I'm Ian Davis. I uh, own Mad Doc. I founded it six years ago. Um, and my day-to-day -day job is as creative director on the games. And um, what it means is that in the beginning design phase, I'm deeply involved in the generation of the core ideas behind the games and have uh, uh, hand in the documentation and then as the game progresses um, I am responsible for making sure the core vision of the game is maintained. In order to make the AI work for the game you have to get a very holistic understanding of how the different pieces fit together. So uh, the AI programmers and uh, designers always have a little bit of an edge in that they've thought through what's the optimal way to play the game. And um, the flip side is that as you're playing the game and you see this great new tactic come out, you say, you know, maybe I can get the AI to do that and improve it and make it more dynamic, more unpredictable, and more fun to play against. I'm always surprised by, by playing the game how the AI really acts and reacts to what you do. It assesses threats and it will do strategic withdrawals or it'll it'll try something else if it if it's not you know doing necessarily a good job a head to head it'll send out spies and start sabotaging things um, we put quick start in and it was sort of a, a revolutionary thing that that lets you jump in and if you want you can play a 15 minute rts game and we thought this is great you know we'll give just a you know a couple of quick options to people but a lot of the fans out there said you know i really want to start with a particular set of units, and uh, I want to customize it to my style of playing. And uh, we, we threw it in there for them. And the perfect complement to that is the Civ Editor, because you're not only customizing the, the forces that you can start out with, you can customize your Civ, your, your, your bonuses, your powers, your, your unique units, uh, for a really, really personal experience. I mean, you're even down to naming the territories and city centers of your civilization. So I think that's, uh, usually exciting for the RTS community.